no, I mean, yeah, you know, Je let's Jeffrey. be specific. This is really good news yes. for yes. a lot of people yes. around Donald Trump. Donald Trump Jr., Jared Kushner, uh, Jerome Corsi, um, the writer who had a draft indictment presented to him by uh, Mueller's office, and they decided not to go forward with this. I mean, this is, you know, let, let's be fair here. I mean, you know, there has right. been a lot of suspicion around uh, certain people, and a lot of, you know, negative things have been said, and imputation of criminal activity, and, and, and uh, uh, Mueller has said, I am not proceeding, and it is, th there is no better news Mm. to receive, then you are not being indicted well, by well, the United Jeffrey, States government. Jeffrey, uh, you once uh, worked as a prosecutor. So when the senior justice official tells Laura Jarrett the special counsel is not recommending any further indictments, can we conclude there, are, there have been no sealed indictments yes. that uh, would be unsealed at some point down the road? Well, I, I, you know, boy, Wolf, you're like a lawyer. That's an interesting <laughs> question. I, I, I think the answer is uh, you, we can we can assume that. I mean, we uh, that is a very good follow up question. But I think that would be very coy uh, if you know no further indictments. That that right. you know, in plain that's English, not, it means to me yeah. that that's there are the no Robert further. Or let me ask Laura yeah. Jarrett that same question, Law Laura. Uh, as, and you, it's your reporting. The special counsel is recommending, uh, not recommending any further indictments. As far as you know, have there been sealed indictments that potentially down the road, for whatever reason, could be unsealed? Wolf, I was channeling you. I asked that very same question. <laughs> I pressed them at length, sealed, unsealed in any form. You're telling me this is not coming down the pipe in any way in the coming weeks and months. And I was told unequivocally, no, it's done. That's that's and, and also, Wolf, that's Wolf you deal. also mentioned you mentioned about perjury. You know, if if um, uh, Robert Mueller thought that witnesses committed perjury, he would have charged it right. Right. because right. he That's did right. charge. He did charge several people with making false statements. So, you know, the idea, you know, I know there are Democrats out there who want to keep the Mueller al investigation alive until, you know, Malia Obama is running for president. But I mean, it's not I mean, it's over. I mean, this investigation is over. And don't forget. And, you know, the Southern District will continue, and that's significant. But, you know, the Mueller investigation is over. Right. And don't forget that this is a president who has been uh, tweeting, talking, whatever, about witch hunt. 175 times. Uh, thank you very much, Evan. He's been, he's, been, he's been doing that for the last two years, uh, ever since James Comey, almost two years to the day, testified before Congress that the FBI had opened an investigation into potential mm -hmm. Russian collusion. So if, if, as Jeffrey is saying, they, they get great news, there's, for, the great news is, first of all, there's no more indictments, but if suddenly the president has to say those angry Democrats who were, were, who were working with Bob Mueller were actually just part of a Justice Department doing its job, after he has criticized the Justice Department. And he's been vindicated by them, essentially. And, vindic and then he's now vindicated, exactly. How, you know, how do you manage that politically? I mean, we obviously can't jump the gun here. We have to, we have to see what, what comes out from Barr and what's in the, and what's in the report. But if I'm at Mar-a-Lago with the president, as Pamela's been reporting, the lawyers are. Mm -hmm. um, Feeling good. That, that, that I would be, I would be very happy. Yeah, absolutely. And let's not forget, I mean, I know we've said it, but this investigation is over and the president never sat down for an interview with Robert Mueller. That is huge. That was always the big question and something the lawyers never wanted to happen. And they were able to prevent that and prevent any sort of the peanut fight. And we're learning today that Robert Mueller never actually put in the request that was rejected in any way, according to this letter from Barr.